this. And I look around and it's hell. How do I know it's hell? Because first of all, I never had to stop before, but when I got there during this auto body experience, I look around and there was just so many countless people. I wasn't the only one there. Demons are ceiling high, they're everywhere. I feel pain and I knew I was a sinner and I will never leave this place. I don't know where the idea came from. I just supernaturally knew, instinctively knew. And that's when I realized I, I made a big mistake. I woke up the next day and they told me I was out for 12 hours, but it was a five minute visit. How's it going there guys? Peace, Jeremy back here, Consciousness Awake, sending you positive energy like always. Hope everyone was doing really good. Uh, in that intro, uh, that was the beginning of this particular video. Now this video uh, is titled, uh, How to Self-Activate Your Pineal Gland, Self-Activate Your Third Eye to Utilize uh, the frequency of your pineal gland uh, for astral projection. So I'm going to start that video in just a moment. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, mention that that intro video that you just saw, if you missed, if you missed the intro video um, or the beginning of it, just go back and uh, re-watch it so you can hear what the gentleman was saying about his uh, NDE, NDE experience. Uh, but I just want to, uh, this is something uh, a uh, subscriber, uh, uh, this clip was sent to me by a subscriber, um, and they wanted me to do an analysis of it uh, from my perspective with my own experiences, out-of-body experiences. Uh, so I want to do that really quick, um, and then I'm going to go into the, the video, uh, the pineal gland video. Uh, so, uh, you know, in, in the last part of that clip, um, with this gentleman speaking. Um, he says, five minutes in hell. Uh, the clip kind of cuts off a little bit so you don't hear the hell part, uh, but it's five. So his experience, his near-death experience, uh, he classifies it as five minutes in hell. Uh, and just a little background on this, from, from my understanding, um, this gentleman, um, uh, his uh, religion is Buddhism. Um, he's been Buddhist apparently for many, many, many years. So he has, you know, certain belief structures and whatnot. It's already embedded in, in his consciousness. Um, but, um, the reason why he had a, ne a near death experience is because he tried to commit suicide. So he tried to, uh, I believe cut or slash his, uh, his esophagus, uh, his throat. Um, and, uh, he, you know, he did a good enough job, good enough job of it to basically almost die, right? And, you know, he was um, hospitalized, like, for a couple of days. He was unconscious for, like, 12 hours, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but he was, you know, revived, and um, and he survived his uh, suicide attempt, uh, you know. Uh, great. Good for him. Uh, uh, but, um, but my analysis on his experience, though, what he describes in that video... Um, the way I see that is, um, as you, as most of you already know, um, it's not really the perspective of a bunch of different multiple dimensions all around us. We use things like multidimensionality and certain labels, uh, but, but it, 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 but really though, uh, what it, what it really is, is just a bunch of different frequencies, right? Frequencies of matter, frequencies uh, there's probably who knows how many frequencies of different types of matter and energetic matter, um, you know, in, in the whole larger scale, you know, the, the multiverse. We don't really know. Nobody knows. I don't know. Nobody knows. All we can do is explore, research, investigate, you know, do all those kind of things. Uh, but in this situation with that video you watched, uh, I believe that, um, you know, what happened there was, you know, for him to want to slash his throat, uh, wow. I mean, he must have been in a really low vibrational frequency, a low state of mind, low vibration. Um, the frequencies that his soul, which is his consciousness, uh, were resonating in resonance with, uh, those frequencies are very, very bad. Uh, so, uh, as with other, you know, situations um uh, with people trying to you know uh commit suicide um and there's different degrees of that there's different levels and degrees of suicides within themselves uh, just because somebody does out themselves 
uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to experience what this gentleman uh, experienced. But but so in my perspective, uh, what's happening here is that in that moment, in that nanosecond, uh, when he actually died and had his NDE, uh, the vibrational frequency of his uh, consciousness was very, very low vibration. And so it magnetized, it uh, connected through 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 the laws of frequency uh, to a, uh, you call it a plane, right? Or a certain, um, uh, certain astral, uh, low astral reality construct. Um, and that particular one, as he described, was very hellish, right? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, so he explained uh, big, tall, demonic beings and we're all the way up to the ceiling or, you know, super tall compared to the other uh, souls or, you know, astral bodies that were around that vicinity. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if um, that those that what he's describing as demons uh, were actually reptilians, uh, because um, I made a couple of videos on this over the last year or two. But unfortunately, in some of those lower vibrational frequencies in those lower planes, um, there are some things going on there that, um, would pretty much, you know, scare the pants off most people. Okay, so, so that was my analysis for the most part. Uh, sorry that that took too long. Uh, we're at six minutes, so I want to do my pineal gland self-activation video right now. Uh, so in this video, um, I want to talk about, um, a, a particular kind of astral projection method technique that people do use. I've used, I like it, I enjoy it. It works very well for me when I do when I do it. Uh, I have done it over the years uh, and a lot of other people have positive feedback about their own experiences. So uh, so I'm not sure how many of you have actually experienced um, your pineal gland um, you know uh, buzzing and vibrating loudly enough to where it's actually, uh, creating energetic swirls of energy uh, around the sixth chakra, um, you know, those micro crystals that are inside your pineal gland uh, are the ones that are the emphasis here. Um, you know, the pineal gland, of course, has uh, melatonin function, ser serotonin function. There's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it does other things physically, but on an energetic level, um, it is what we consider the third eye, okay, a spiritual eye. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, activating the pineal gland and um, getting those micro crystals inside the, the ridges and the top portion of the pineal gland, um, you know, supercharged and activated and resonating with a higher frequency um, is very important just in general for spiritual growth and spiritual for the spiritual journey, obviously. Uh, but most importantly, though, uh, it can be harnessed with a meditation uh, for astral projection. So what you want to do is when you are feeling the ringing, uh, the high pitched frequency uh, is emanating from inside your brain, from the pineal gland to the point of where you can kind of hear it behind your ears a little bit. Uh, you want to uh, go lay down. Um, you could do what you want, but I prefer to lay down and just start relaxing, start breathing, focusing on your breath, obviously, doing any kind of breathing exercise or rhythm that works for your system to help your body relax for you know, a minute or two, a couple minutes. And then um, uh, visualize uh, taking the frequency, that high pitched um, buzzing, ringing kind of frequency that's in your head uh, and around the, the back of your head and somewhat towards your ears. Um, taking that sound, because you, you will be hearing that sound, right? Um, and taking it uh, and incorporating it into your meditation uh, process. So, uh, so before I explain how to take the pineal gland frequency and incorporate it into a meditation and into the rest of your body, uh, I want to uh, just say one thing really quickly here. Uh, uh, for people who um, don't really, who have never uh, heard that high pitch frequency or buzzing, if it's something you're not really familiar with, 
there are ways to uh, to kind of kickstart that or kind of help self activate that and uh, get those micro crystals, you know, more supercharged in a way. Uh, uh, there's a couple of different ways, a few different ways. Uh, here's here's a couple examples. Uh, so yeah, you can take whichever hand we have our palm chakras, our right hand palms. There's micro ports of energy. Uh, for everyone is different. Um, for some people, uh, their right hand uh, takes in energy, or and then their left hand pumps out energy, uh, or it could be the opposite for some people. So you're going to have to figure that one out on your own, obviously, by doing your own energy work and feeling the energy within your hands and kind of experimenting on what feels like is flowing out, what's swirling, swirling out, what's swirling inward, okay? Uh, for me, my right hand pumps out energy. My left hand takes in energy, okay? And that's what I feel when I put energy out from my right hand going into my left hand, left hand chakra. So, um, uh, so uh, where was I? Uh, so yes, so uh, self-initiating or self-activating your pineal gland uh, if you need to help yourself with that. So use your hands, and since my right hand, for example, you know, pumps energy out, it swirls energy out, uh, it, for me, uh, applying pressure to my crown chakra with my hand a few inches above my head and pushing down, down towards the pineal gland, and then taking my other hand, just the fingers, and applying pressure to the brow, okay? Right where that little indent is between your brow, uh, eyebrows, you'll feel it. For most people, it's right about there. And so if you apply pressure there, and at the same time use your energy, your own energy, to, to put pressure upon that uh, pineal gland, uh, what you'll start feeling is kind of like a, uh, a heaviness, uh, kind of a numbness, heaviness kind of feeling uh, at the base of your brain below the pineal gland, uh, pineal gland region, right? Which is a, right, right in the middle of your brain. So you'll feel it down underneath it. Um, and it'll feel just kind of like really heavy and kind of numbed in a way. And if you're feeling that, then you are uh, definitely... Uh, uh, doing energetic work uh, upon yourself. Now, let's get back to uh, the meditation. Sorry, digressing, sorry. But I just needed to explain that. Um, and so basically, so, um, you know, you're doing your body relaxation, uh, your, your whatever breathing method works for you to do that. You're, you're hearing and feeling the high pitch frequency, buzzing coming, the ringing coming from your pineal gland in your head. Then visualize that, just harness that ringing, that frequency. You'll notice that if you focus on it, it'll excite it. It'll stimulate it even more. And then take it for a ride, okay? What, what I mean by that is you're taking what that is in that part of your um, body and you're bringing it down to your collarbones, the base, the base of your throat, uh, you know, collarbone area in around here, okay? And uh, and then once you achieve that with your visualization, and you can feel the vibrations of the pineal gland, the high pitch frequency uh, starting to affect that part of your body, then you know that you're doing the correct thing. Uh, then take it and go down your... Um, you can do it either way, but uh, I like to go down my left arm first. So I like to go down the left arm. I go all the way down the left arm on, on the outside of my arm, going down to the fingers. Boom, 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 thumb. And then move on the opposite side, on the inside part of my arm, going up. So I'm taking that frequency and that vibrational frequency uh, resonance uh, the pineal gland is uh, is creating, uh, and I'm shifting it uh, and applying it down the arm, up the arm on the inside, 
and then I go across that collarbone area, and then I go back, then I do the same thing on my other arm, same process. Then I come back to my throat, and then I go down my body uh, through all the different chakra points. And then I go down my left leg to each toe, up the leg, then down the other leg, then to each toe, just like you do with your fingers. And I promise you, I swear to you, that if you really try this kind of uh, meditation technique, by the time you work your way through all your limbs and then work your way back up the chakras and go back to your pineal gland, uh, when you get back to your head, sp head space, um, you'll, you'll completely have forgotten. You'll, you'll have completely have forgotten that you're even doing a uh, breathing technique, relaxation, uh, moving that frequency of your pineal gland around your body, you will completely have forgotten about the meditation within itself. And if that happens, then you know that you have been very successful at this particular technique. Uh, because once you get back there, and then you have dissolved what you were already doing originally, uh, you're in that perfect state of consciousness to where you can initiate a exit, an OBE, exit technique, rolling out, uh, levitating up, sitting up, going through the roof, uh, visualizing your own portal, uh, doing whatever you are trying to do with your OB exit technique, um, you will be very effective with it. And it's just a matter of targeting and, you know, uh, and just kind of knowing what to expect. And when you try this kind of method a few times, you'll know exactly uh, what I'm trying to explain to you guys. So let's leave the video at 16 minutes. I appreciate all of you, positive energy, and it, comments if or questions in the comments, great. Like the video if this, if this was interesting for you. All right, peace, bye. This, and I look around and it's hell. How do I know it's hell? Because first of all, I never had this thought before, but when I got there, during this auto body experience, I look around and there was just so many countless people. I wasn't the only one there. Demons are ceiling high, they're everywhere. I feel pain and I knew I was a sinner and I will never leave this place. I don't know where the idea came from. I just supernaturally knew, instinctively knew. And that's when I realized like, I made a big mistake. I woke up the next day and they told me I was out for 12 hours, but it was a five minute